We've begun implementation of the first stage of our atmospheric flight model. Ships that look like they can take advantage of atmosphere handle better than those that don't. This means that more aerodynamic ships maneuver better because of how they utilize drag, and they can roll and pitch better in atmosphere than they can in space. Less aerodynamic ships work harder against drag and suffer decreased acceleration and maneuverability. Uh, John will allow design to tune the characteristics on a per ship basis, so ships that look like the Gladius will handle handled vastly different than the, like those that look like the Starfarer. Atmospheric density increases the closer you get to planetary surfaces and will include pockets of varying densities so we'll have fluctuations such as wind and turbulence. Your ship's max safe speed decreases as atmospheric density increases so you want to play, uh, pay close attention to the velocity and altitude of your ship otherwise you risk damaging the ship while in flight. So I've been working on the uh, atmospheric flight model for ships and uh, the main thing is uh, our goal with that system is not to create uh, ships that fly by aerodynamics, not like an aircraft, but it's really more for our spaceships when they enter atmosphere. We want uh, the flight model to take into account, uh, you know, drag and, uh, you know, at some point possibly lift, you know, kind of change the way the ships feel in atmosphere. And uh, so the first step for that was a, a way to calculate the uh, cross-sectional area for the spaceship on all three of its its main axes. So you've got the front, side, and top. And uh, that's largely what determines the amount of drag for a ship. I mean, that's that's going to be dynamically calculated. So if a ship blows a wing off or something, that's going to change. And not only the amount of surface area, but also where the drag force is being applied relative to the center of mass, which will create really interesting uh, flight conditions. But every ship, you know, based on its structure, it's some ships are going to be more aerodynamic, something like the Gladius, you know, they're, they're designed more like a, like an aircraft. Uh, some ships are, are going to fly more like a bus, you know, and you're really going to feel that. And that all comes out of the, the cross-sectional area for the ship. There are some things that we can tune into that, like, uh, you know, different types of materials might have like a different drag coefficient. So we can, we can kind of modify ships, tweak their performance a little bit. But, but mostly I think that it's going to be defined based on, on the, the actual structure of the ships.